Good evening, dear JCPS. My subject tonight is Fool Me Thrice. I don't know how many times I've been fooled, actually. I know it's been at least more than three, but you know how the joke goes. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. What happens when you're fooled three times, four times, five times, a hundred times? At what point do you take things to the next level? I'm gonna give you three examples of times that I've been fooled. The first one pertains to my son's school. Ever since I set foot in that school, I recognize the gold mine that it is. And I've been trying, my background is marketing, so I've been trying for the last three years to help recruit students to that school because that's, we're a priority school, we're a failing school. One way to change our scores is to recruit students to the magnet and help grow the scores. And every single year, I've had obstacle after obstacle after obstacle thrown at my feet. Um, I sent an email to all of you last week with some of my concerns, and Dr. Hargens, I appreciate your response. Linda, I appreciate your response. Um, Dr. Hargens wrote, everyone agrees that Shawnee is a shining star and that it provides a great opportunity for JCPS students. There's a disconnect. Not everyone does recognize that. That's my point. That's what we're trying to do is change perception. And so if we think that we have, that everyone already recognizes that, then we're not even admitting what the problem is. My second concern is Challenger Learning Center. A year ago, when you voted to allow Kentucky Science Center to operate it, you promised us that the new operator, their proposal said they would fly 150 missions. We flew 150 missions last year, so no interruption in service was the promise. Um, they flew 42, I think it was. So we went to a third of what we had been doing before and yet we're paying them. We just renewed the budget for $90,000 to pay them when the reason we cut it was because it was costing us $250,000 without any return. But 8,000 students went through the program. That's a return. Where's the value put on that? There's, no, there's been no value put on that, and here we are renewing a contract for even more this year, and it sits dark most days. What do we need to do to send all of JCPS's sixth and seventh graders through this investment that we've already made? We spent the million dollars to install it at Shawnee, and it sits dark. Let's put kids back into that program. And the third issue is the hair policy. And you've already heard speakers, and I know it's been talked to death. But I was disappointed that the letter indicated that the person who brought it to the attention should have asked first, instead of admitting that we made a mistake. We made a mistake. There should be a review process that says, you cannot violate law and you cannot vi violate board policy and it should be reviewed. It got changed by a couple of people who probably meant no harm, just weren't familiar with the terms, and it became a big stink because there wasn't a policy in place. So my question to you is, what do we do when, I've been, when it's fool me once, fool me twice, fool me thrice? What are those next steps? Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Edelman.